And today's text comes from Acts 18 verses 1 to 11, but we're going to focus in on verses 9 to 10. Now, a quick backstory for you. Paul is traveling from Athens to Corinth, and he meets up with a couple friend, uh, Aquila and Priscilla, and together they are preaching the gospel to the Jews. The Bible says every Sabbath, Paul does this, but he's met with rejection, opposition, and insults, and he is getting weary. The work is hard. Along come his boys, Silas and Timothy, and he's inspired and motivated, the Bible says, to preach every day in the synagogue, but still reject still opposition, still insults. And the Bible says that he makes a historic history changing decision. He decides that he will shake the dust off his clothes, no longer preach to the Jews, and he will preach to the Gentiles. And wow, what a decision that is, because we are the beneficiaries of that as Gentiles. Here's what the Lord says to him in verse nine. Do not be afraid. Speak out. Don't be silent, for I am with you, says God, and no one will attack you and harm you, for many people in the city belong to me. Amazing. And I I want to leave four points with you real quick from that story. Number one, be faithful to the things that God has called you to, no matter how it's received, no matter what the optics are, do the thing that God's called you to do. Number two, find your tribe, find the people that will inspire you and motivate you when work and life gets hard, that will help you to produce at a high level like Silas and Timothy. Three, do not be afraid of rejection and closed doors because like Paul shifting from the Jews to the Gentiles, that decision might change the history of your life. It might be the very thing that God's called you to do. And lastly, the words of the Lord are your anthem today. Do not be afraid, whether it's speaking to social justice, speaking truth to power, being the change you want to see in the world. God says, I am with you. Speak out. Don't be silent. And there are more for you than against you. You got this.